Hey guys, Louie here, and welcome to the weekend. And what an exciting week it was for, um, for everything. Lots of news, and the medals were uh, certainly doing their thing. I was most impressed with um, silver uh, this week. So uh, just recapping, gold uh, went up and went back down. Looks like it hit a little plateau there. And came back down to 1703, uh, pretty much where it started the week. Silver, on the other hand, had just an amazing um, couple of days, settled back a little bit, but it went as high as, I think, about 1575. So uh, look at us here at 1548, major improvement for silver. And uh, as I predicted, uh, you know, premiums are coming down, but spot price has gone up. And uh, you're probably in just about the same place as we were a week ago in terms of trying to buy silver but uh, nice nice movement um, a couple of days ago um, I really thought we were just headed for the moon so here is the uh, three-day uh, chart of silver's action in the market and if you look at the red line well of course silver was headed up that morning and I thought it would get the typical smackdown but boy it just caught a rocket ship up and went all the way up to uh, gee about 1550 um, did settle back a little bit, but really, really exciting move. And I figured, as usual, that would be the end of the move. But the next day, it started up again. And, uh, you know, I think due to the, uh, the stock market strength, uh, pulled back a little bit. But silver definitely making its move, coming back into its own. Uh, very, very exciting. So just wrapping up the review, um, we have silver... Uh, now down only 14% for the year, the Dow down about 16, um, and platinum down around 21.5%, uh, although platinum seems to be uh, catching a bid along with silver. Now silver may be down 14% from um, the beginning of the year, but if you look back, if you go back about six months, you will see that uh, you know right before the end of the year, we had a major, major move upwards, uh, I think, into the 19s, as the uh, longer-term chart down here on the bottom will show you. So where are we? Well, we are right back to uh, just about six months ago, right in that 15 to 16 range, and uh, I think there's plenty of reason to be optimistic. Um, there are lots of uh, uh, macro reasons, I think, why silver will continue its move. Um, gold uh, certainly has lots of fundamental reasons it will continue to move, but uh, I think silver coming into its own, and uh, of course we are hoping for uh, the economy to turn back on, industrial demand to turn back on, and of course supply has shrunk, as you know very well. So uh, that, that's a good setup for me, and if I had to pick between silver and gold right now, and I do own both, um, I think I'd still be on the silver train. I think um, we could see some dramatic moves back here. And here you have in front of you a chart of gold. I think you know which one gold is, the blue line, and silver. And my only point here is that uh, if you see the prior run-up in 2011-2012, you'll see that silver and gold really um, um, came up in a somewhat equal proportion and then fell back in a somewhat equal proportion. Well, right now, look at the divergence between gold and silver. So, um, you know, for my money, although I want to have both, um, I would rather be heavier in the undervalued asset than in the overvalued asset. And I think you could certainly make a prediction that when industrial demand turns back on in a significant way, um, that we're, we're going to see these two lines start to converge again. So um, buy low, sell high. I'm not sure why people are giving up on silver. It has been a, a long slog. And of course, we were looking to make a higher move just a few months ago and did make quite a higher move, but then got smacked back down to that unreasonable 12 level. But, you know, um, when you think about 12, uh, you know, in relation to what oil did, negative uh, 37, I suppose that's not so bad. And, and that was an abnormal period in time. So I, I, really, um, I really discount the 12 number going forward. 
um, assuming that uh, uh, you know we, we head back to a somewhat normalized uh, way of life. So um, you know we're right back into that 15, 16 zone. There's plenty of um, support around there. And uh, I think you're going to see silver start to make its move. Of course, people won't jump back in until it does. Um, it still is regar regarded as an industrial metal. But, um, you know, I think um, that divergence alone, of course, is also reflected in the gold to silver ratio. Is a good reason to not give up on silver. Don't pay the high premiums if you can avoid it. Don't chase the things that other people are chasing. But um, I, I like it here a lot and continue to have both the, uh, the physical and the paper. And of course the other thing you can do with uh, silver, if you don't mind paper SLV, is you can sell the covered calls. Um, here we are. Um, if you sell calls out to March of 2021, that's less than one year. Uh, the 1450s, which equate to right about where spot is now in the SLV, are selling for $2.30. Even the 1550s, a solid dollar out of the money, are selling for $2. So you can see the returns there. Next time your broker says to you, you know, there's nowhere, uh, you know, you got to be in the stock market. Well, how about making about 16% um, as a result of selling those covered calls? And a little lower percentage if you want to gain the appreciation between 1450 and 1550, for example. Um, the only problem here is, of course, if it runs up to $25, they, they take your SLV away and uh, you, you're left with that return. But that's a pretty nice return considering uh, the stock market uh, is looking uh, super toppy again. I know people are just really, really anxious to reshort it um, and uh, I do think we will again see a move lower. All right, so um, yeah, I think silver has a, a good future ahead of it. And, uh, you know, if you're worried about the $15 spot price dropping again, just ask yourself, would you sell your silver for $15 an ounce or $16 an ounce? More and more people are saying no. And that's why everything you see on eBay, which is where I am right now with the lowest priced uh, 10 ounce silver bars, um, you know, it's $20 and above. And there, there are some, uh, some deals at a couple of other retailers where you can get it below that, but uh, you know, you know, I think the common man kind of goes to eBay, especially when the LCSs are closed. So here we are back on silver bars. Uh, I just want to alert you that DGSE, all right, that is the company that acquired um, interest in Ella Metal, all right, after the giant scandal of the Amazon rainforest um, um, plundering. Uh, they closed up that namesake, but I see that they are pulling out the old uh, the old molds from the Elemental Mint and DGSE. Um, I believe what happens is basically they close down one corporation, you know, in shame um, under lawsuit, etc., and they just all the people move over to another private holding company and then start up operation again. This has been happening in the silver industry for decades and probably won't stop but just be aware if you're buying this from DGSE uh, you're buying it from the old elemental guys um, 207 but they always did beautiful work I'll give them that but uh, what wouldn't be beautiful about Amazon rainforest silver hey eh? <laughs> uh, let's see 207 here is Morgan design 208 uh, nine fine mint I'm not sure if that's cheaper could be cheaper over at uh, Apmex. Uh, NTR Metals, again, you yeah, have yeah, one of the old Ella Metal acquisitions, 200 bucks, OPM. Yeah, a lot of that, a lot of this stuff is, uh, are the bars that were associated with the Ella Metal group. Uh, here's some nice AMARCs at, uh, 210. Those are nice. Uh, 210, 210. What else we got here? Anything interesting? Oh, that's pretty. Uh, silver 10 ounce bar, United States of America. 202 plus shipping. Um, who makes this? Let's see. 999 silver. Hmm. I don't know that bar, but I like it. All right. Let's see what else we got here. There's nine fine mint. Not sure what why people want uh, bars and cardboard 
boxes. <laughs> Most people I don't think care about that, but it does make it does make it stand out, doesn't it? Uh, more OPMs, discontinued bars. Uh, here's a Provident Metal Bar at 215. More A marks. Um, yeah, I've seen these recently. I'm guessing this might be a DGSE product, but I could be wrong. Uh, essential worker stamp the coronavirus. All right. Oh, by the way, those uh, those poured silver Corona bars from um, from um, Canada um, are in stock again. If you want to go over to the coin shop, uh, Beaver Bullion uh, is uh, got a bunch of those for sale. They're around twenty two dollars an ounce. Uh, much cooler than this thing, I think. Okay, let's see what else we got. Um, this is a beautiful design. I mean, they, they really knocked it out of the park with uh, with this design here. That's the Mercury, right? From the back of the Mercury dime. Or parts of it, anyway. Hmm, very interesting. What else we got? Getting up a little pricier here in the 10-ounce bars. Highland Mint Silver, 210. Um, yeah, more DGSE. It's a, it's a Dallas outfit. Um, Jaegers, 242 for Jaegers. Wow, that's pretty pricey. <clears throat> uh, more generic from Bullion Exchanges, Mason Mint. Now, th this would be crazy to buy this because you can get this over at Gainesville for, oh my gosh, about 10% or 20% less. So, uh, do check it out at Gainesville if you want a Mason Mint product. They appear to have a direct relationship with that mint. <clears throat> Here's Highland Mint. That's pretty, that buffalo. Want to take a look at uh, gold real quick? Okay, and we're back to my favorite uh, pickup, which are these um, three-coin U.S. Mint commemorative sets. Uh, here's one for about $460. Let me do the one that's easier to see. But uh, in these sets, you get a quarter ounce, nearly a quarter ounce of uh of uh, gold, U.S. Mint gold, and then uh, typically another silver, a couple of silvers, or silver and a uh, non-silver coin. But, uh, you know, uh, sometimes eBay bucks apply to those. So you take the 465, you subtract out 20, 30 bucks worth of silver, you're at 435, and then minus your credit card rebates and eBay rebates, etc. You could be below spot on this gold coin. All right, and I will leave the link to this page if you want to scoop up some of these commemorative sets. All right, I'll say goodbye to you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. You take care.